Okay, this video is going to deal with the knotty problem of um, calculations with linear magnification. We all love the C word. So, um, the key thing, I suppose, with this is to memorise this little number triangle. So we've got I, M and A. I'll just put them into a triangle for the sake of it. So, I stands for image, and that can be a drawing, so for example you drew onion cells, uh, if you're watching this from the upper six perspective you've drawn all sorts of things, leaves and roots and goodness only knows what. It could be from a photograph, which could be a light microscope photograph, or it could be an electron micrograph photograph. It could be a diagram, or it could be a scale bar. So these are the little uh, horizontal bars. They'll have a, so you have your, your picture, you have a little horizontal bar, and it'll say something like this little horizontal bar is two micrometers long. So it gives you the actual size as well. Actual size is what it says. This is how big the thing is in real life. And M is magnification, which is how many times bigger something is. So I can't imagine that you would ever, and having said that, of course, it will be on the paper, uh, that you ever have to calculate the size of an image or how big an image should be. You're most likely to have to calculate magnification. So if you cover up magnification, magnification is the image size over the actual size. Or you're going to have to calculate the actual size, which is the image size over magnification. Now I know that you are absolutely, completely attached to the centimetre as a unit of measurement. You need to get into the habit of measure, measuring in millimetres. Now, that's because very often we're dealing with very small sizes. So, one millimetre is a thousand micrometers and in all of these calculations uh, particularly the magnification one if you're dealing so if you're calculating magnification from a scale bar or from a diagram if your image is in millimeters and your scale bar or your diagram the answer that you want is in micrometers you're gonna have to multiply by a thousand There's another unit even smaller than that, so one micrometer is a thousand nanometers. So if we were doing one millimeter in nanometers, it's one, three zeros for the micrometers, three zeros for the nanometers. So you might be dealing in quite you know quite large numbers. And theoretically, you could uh, you could always convert everything into millimetres, but then you'd be dealing with tiny numbers. And I think tiny numbers with lots of decimal points uh, give you far more margin for error. So I wouldn't do that. I would always deal in big and whole numbers. So that's the bit that you kind of need to remember. So other things that you'll need in your exam are a ruler, a pen, and really important, a good old faithful calculator. You will have calculations on your paper. 10% of the marks have to be mathematically based. You will need a calculator. So I've got some examples here and then we'll, we'll deal with the drawing that you did of the onion cells. So this is my first one. It's a lovely electron micrograph. It's of a cell. It's got all these vesicles in it. It's got some rough endoplasmic reticulum, some mitochondria dotted around, and the uh, nucleus. And it tells me here that 
the magnification is times, so remember magnification no units, it's 129,000 times bigger than it is in real life and we need to calculate the actual diameter of the nucleus. So little number triangle I A M and so I'm going to calculate the actual diameter I'm going to need image over magnification. So first thing I'm going to do is measure the diameter of the nucleus, remembering to do it in millimetres. So I've got one, two, three, four, five centimetres and my ruler handily has it in millimetres on this side, 50 millimetres. So I've got 50 millimetres divided by 129,000, which is our magnification. 50 divided by 129,000 is a very little number but it's in millimetres. Zero, 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 three, eight, three, eight, seven, five. I think I'll round that up to three, nine. <coughs> and again, that's in millimetres. So if I'm going to convert to micrometres, that would be one, two, three. So it would be point, Three nine micrometers, and again, dealing in decimal points, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. So I'm going to convert it again to nanometers. Jump the decimal place. One two three. So that would be three hundred ninety nanometers across. So. That's example one, calculating actual diameter from a photograph. Now that could have easily been a diagram that somebody had drawn. You just go through the same motions. So here we have a diagram of a mitochondrion. And I'm told that its actual size is 5 micrometres and I need to calculate the magnification. So again, a little number triangle. I M A. So I'm calculating magnification. That's image size over actual size. So here we go. So to measure my image size, so I'll do it on the centimetre side, and then you can do this bit in your head. So mine is um 19.1 centimetres, or in millimetres times by 10, so we've got magnification equals 191 millimetres and my actual size is 5 micrometres. So I need to convert the top number into micrometres. There's my three zeros going on, so multiply by a thousand. And so the actual size of this is, sorry, the magnification how much bigger my diagram is than a real mitochondrion? 191000 divided by 5 it's times 38,200. So my diagram is 38,200 times bigger than a real mitochondrion. So that's nice and easy. Let me come to the knotty problem of scale bars. Now scale bars can be used to calculate magnification and therefore actual size. So, calculating magnification and go image. So magnification is going to be image over actual. My image in this case is the scale bar, so I'm going to need to measure that. So my scale bar is 4.2 centimetres or 42 millimetres. My units 
for the actual size of the scale bar, which is 5 micrometres long, micrometres, so I need to multiply by a thousand and divide by 5. So 42, 0, 0, 0, divided by 5. So this is 8,400 times bigger. So now I know my magnification and I can measure my image. So the diameter of the nucleus, so we're now working out actual size. Actual is image over magnification. I need to now measure the nucleus. And I can measure this in millimetres because I've got a magnification. So that's 11.9 uh, centimetres or 119 millimetres. And to divide that by 8,400. So 119 millimetres divided by 8,400 is... 0 0.014, I've got some other numbers after that, I'm going to ignore them because the next one's a 1, 0 0.014 millimetres. And to me, again, 0 0.014 millimetres means nothing, so I'm going to convert it to micrometres, so multiply by 1000, move the decimal point, 1, 2, 3, 14 micrometres. Now obviously there are other ways of, you can jump, if you don't have to calculate magnification, you can jump straight to working out how big it is by taking your diameter of your nucleus, which was uh, 119. You can divide that to see how many times your scale bar goes in, so divided by uh, 42. So that scale bar would go in 2.83 times and then multiply by 5 and that will also give you 14 micrometres. So that deals with that. <coughs> and then we come to what you have to do for the practical and remember that you can be asked about your practical on the exam paper. So there were two sort of stages for this. So we drew our onion cells um, at medium power and the um, we measured them so I'm going to put my measurement on I'll need my trusty pencil so I've looked down the microscope and I have measured that cell to be 38 eyepiece units. So, notice that I put a little T-bar at each end to make it absolutely clear where the line's going to and from. Writing out eyepiece units in full. And the next thing I had to do was to calibrate the microscope to work out what one eyepiece unit was uh, in millimetres and then I've converted it into micrometres. So on medium power, when I look down the microscope, I can see that the length of the eyepiece ruler, which is 100 eyepiece units, so I'm going to do a little calibration calculation here. 100 eyepiece units I'm now going to just put brackets EPU and then I can use it again. It was equal to 10 stage units. So on our, um, uh, under our microscopes, our eyepiece units are numbered 0 to 10, but each between each number you've got 10 units, so we've got 100 altogether. Same goes for the stage units. So between the two numbers, say I've measured it between number 5 and number 6, um, I've got 10 units, so 10 stage units. So, one stage unit, and again, this really applies to um, our microscopes. 
This is how our uh, ones are. They're, they're a centimetre long and they're divided into 100.1 millimetres. Um, there are others, and again you might come across those in an exam situation. So some are only one millimetre long and divided into 100. But they will let you know, being fair not to, what one stage unit equals or what size you're dealing with. So one stage unit is 0.1 millimetres. So what I'm saying is 100 eyepiece units. Oh, I'm going to abbreviate it on EPU equals 10 times 0.1 millimetres. That means one IPC unit is 10 times 0.1 over 100. And again, that's going to be in millimetres, not change my units yet. So let me do that calculation. 10 times 0.1 equals 1 divided by 100. That's 0.01. And again, millimetres. So I'm going to multiply by a hundred, a thousand, sorry, to get it into micrometres. Jump my decimal point. One, two, three, ten micrometres. So what we're saying now is that each one of these 38 eyepiece units has actually got the length of ten micrometres. And from that we can work out the actual size. So, actual size... And I'll say what it's of. Actual size of onion cell is equal to my EPU times my calibration value. Now it's really important that you measure and calibrate at the same power. So 38 eyepiece units times 10 micrometers equals 380 micrometers long. And from that, I can work out now how much bigger my diagram is. So remember our little number triangle. I want to work out my magnification. I need my image size over my actual size. So magnification of drawing equals I over A. And I need to measure the length of the line that I've measured. So that's uh, 161 millimetres. Oh no, 166 millimetres. So 16.6, 16 166. 166 millimetres. But I've got my actual size in micrometres. So I'm going to add on my three zeros. Over 380 my actual size, 166000 divided by 380 equals, so my diagram is times 436.8. So it's 436.8 times bigger than my actual onion cells were. So I hope that helps. Uh, there are obviously, you can see any diagram, any picture, any photograph, any size of scale bar. You just need to apply the principles.